Hey everybody! So this is me from Matchbox Theater Company. I'm the artistic director. Um, I'm just here to talk about some of the social media stuff we've been doing, which is super great. I uh, started working at Offru Art this summer, which is a nonprofit art organization that sells affordable art from young artists, and uh, a lot of it helped like prepare me for social media for Matchbox. So yeah, when I started, um, I've just been using like the Canva stuff that I use with Offru. The social media, it's important that we have kind of like a good look with it because it's matchbox and it's like, you know, fire and stuff. There's like the blacks, the grays, the reds, the yellows, the oranges. So it's pretty easy to set up on Canva. I just go, I can make an Instagram post, I can make a poster. They even have like presentation, animated social media. And it's been pretty easy to figure out like how to build everything from there. So yeah, that's kind of been my journey with the in with the social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter is what we're at right now. Matt Lopes is like one of our ambassadors and he's on TikTok um, and he'll do, he'll do like Matchbox themed TikTok videos, which are really cool. But yeah, that's the, that's the Matchbox social media. I've wanted to start a theater company for a long time. I talked about this in the Instagram live video a little bit. I really wanted to start something that was accessible for everybody. And I feel like starting a virtual theater company now is really helpful in terms of figuring out how we can be accessible to like the disabled community. I'm disabled, so I've had a hard time in the past like going to see theater shows because sometimes you don't know. I like I have Crohn's disease, so I you know you don't know when there's gonna be a break in the show. You don't know where the bathrooms are. You don't know how long the show's gonna be. You don't know if you're gonna actually be able to make it through the entire thing. So having something that's virtual that you can live stream or later buy the link or download the link or something and just watch something from your own home is really helpful for a lot of people. And if we start figuring out how to make virtual theater now. That's really great in terms of like what we want to do in the future when we do have our own space to perform in. And then with the rest of the ideas of Matchbox, like producing original content, I feel like in theater a lot of stuff is overdone education wise, community theater wise, whatever's on Broadway. Like the fact that there's going to be another production of The Music Man is kind of like why. But when you open up a field of new content that's written by uh, BIPOC, LGBTQ+, and women playwrights, you're opening the doors for a lot of new stories to be told that aren't always told and should be told. Um, and obviously the formatting right now is for Zoom, live stream, and radio shows in the future, which I would love to do. So yeah, that was kind of the general ideas. I just wanted something that was different than the normal theater we're all kind of used to. Yeah, and it's been really great working with the team. Most of the board, you know, has done theater for a long time and has wanted to see a change in theater so everyone's really driven and passionate about it so that's been really great it's been really great connecting with everybody through social media and seeing how everyone's like reacting to fundraisers to the play submissions we've gotten a lot of submissions which i was actually really surprised about <laughs> but yeah it's been really exciting so far so keep you guys updated on more i'm really excited to be working on matchbox um I can't wait to take this journey with everybody and with the whole team. Everyone's been working so, so hard and I can't wait for everyone to see what they've been doing. I can't wait for the future that this holds. Thank you everyone for your support so much and we'll be talking to you soon.